Okay, thought of the day, mm -hmm. page 148, first paragraph. Katamancha bikkave dukkang ariya sachang jati pi dukkha jara pi dukkha maranam pi dukkang soka paridheva dukkha dho manasu payasa pi dukkha appehi sampayogo dukkho Piehi vipa yogo dukko Yampi chang nalabati tampi dukkang Sankite na panchu padha na kandha pi dukka. And what because in the noble truth of suffering, birth is suffering, aging is suffering, death is suffering, sorrow, lamentation pain, grief, and despair are suffering. Union with what is displeasing is suffering. Separation from what is pleasing is suffering. Not to get what one wants is suffering. In brief, the five aggregates subject to clinging are suffering. Okay, dear friends in Dhamma, today thought of a day about Four Noble Truth and first truth is Noble Truth of Suffering. So. Here explaining what is suff noble truth of suffering. So here suffering in explaining uh, the list of uh, suffering, well, how we get suffered with them. So first one is birth is suffering. You know, because of birth, we have to face a lot of difficulties and things. So wherever there is no birth, that means we don't have to do anything so we just have done what we had to done so aging is suffering because of birth you remember how you get you don't remember how you get your birth so you as a baby you came into this world and now you see how big you are so because it's changing every moment and uh, we can see with our physical life so that's why but uh, but one thing is we getting old and uh, we physically we get weakness day by day according to our age but our, our attachment or our tanha is become young because as a baby we had a little but we wanted something little but we could survive with little stuff but you remember when you're getting young we need what we see what we like so we try to achieve try to get those things because our greedy is becoming younger and younger day by day the but our body is becoming a uh, decay and the death is suffering and the, we birth and getting old then next one is we have to get into death. So then sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief and despair are suffering. So these all are subject to suffer. So union with what is displeasing is suffering and uh, means if there is something we don't like, uh, is there a person we don't like? That mean it's suffering. So that's meeting and never make us happy. So it also something to suffer for us. So and separation from what is pleasing is suffering. In the same time, the whenever we have time to separate with who we like or what we like, that also means suffering. You remember when you go to a funeral service, how we suffer, how we sad. How others have sad because of their there is a separation from who they like. So they are beloved relatives, they are beloved parents, they are beloved uh, neighbor, something. So we all suffer. So and the next one is get what in brief in sh the five aggregates subject to clinging are suffering. In short, the five aggregates also suffering because five aggregates are Rupa, Vedana, Sanya, Sankara, Vinyana. Rupa means 
form and the form means your physical body rupa here and the vedana is feelings these sensations are pleasant unpleasant neutral all feelings are subject to subject to suffering and the sanya is perception six senses and bases and the eye form nose smell ear a sounds body touch and like that so we get perception through our six senses and sankara sankara is mental formation sankara means they recreate what something we have so we have sankara ourselves when we born and we again we rebuild and the building it more to get next life too so and the vinyan is consciousness so because uh, i and contact and the i contact became became create vinyan vinyan of consciousness so chaku vinyan is i consciousness sotha vinyana means ear consciousness jiva vinyana means tongue consciousness uh, like that so we have consciousness and this consciousness also like a delusion like a, when you walk in a desert you can see delusion far away like water but uh, we cannot reach that when you walk to get it but it's go far away like you know dear get lost and get into die because of delusion so vinyan also describe in dhamma like a desert like a delusion so it's also not last forever these five things are changing all the time and they are also not permanent so they are also something last for a while and changing so these are dukkha like suffering why is suffering because they are not last forever they are changing they are impermanence not permanence and uh, another thing is suffering suffering become because it's impermanence and also dissatisfaction is there this we are not satisfied we are not happy about it because it's changing and other thing is anatta not not self so if we get self we can uh, keep it like that so they are according to buddhism in permanence in dissatisfaction and uh, no self that's why we are suffering so uh, this is very important to understand and keep in practice so everything is in this world is belongs to dukkha satya like suffering uh, noble truth of suffering this building uh, this monastery and all the people here and uh, all the items and surrounding things everything in this world beyond liberation does mean noble truth of suffering so everything is changing everything is impermanent and no self so that's how thing happen in the world so this is the truth so buddha explaining it and he realize it and he explain to understand for us so with this noble truth of suffering i conclude this thought of a day and with this thought of a day may you have a peaceful peaceful day